New research finds people are avoiding their neighbors. There's no Harold to wave to while he's hosing the lawn in the morning, or Carl Kennedy to pass on your morning jog. In fact, a new survey found reality is not at all like the television show Neighbors and Gone Are the Days. When you ring the doorbell of the person next door to ask for a cup of sugar. The survey from realestate.com.o discovered most of us avoid human contact with our neighbors. Over. A third of us are like Homer Simpson and Ned Flanders, we are not interested in getting to know whoever lives next door. According to the survey, almost 100% of us have actually gone out of our way at some point to avoid a neighbor. Not all of us can get along like Wilson and Tim the Toolman Taylor. Source News Limited. One in ten neighbors have called the cops on those who live next door and one in ten also admitted to spying on their neighbors. But take a deep breath, only 3% of people have seen a neighbor in the nude. That's sure to make taking the bins out pretty awkward. One in five people admitted to having a fight with somebody living on their street and one in ten uses their neighbor's bin without asking. Betting not everybody answered that question completely honestly. Vijayfi The survey found baby boomers are dodging their neighbors just as much as millennials. Dr. Lauren Rose Warren, from Melbourne University's School of Social and Political Sciences. Said many people appreciated a respectful distance from neighbors. Sometimes small talk and social pleasantries seem like a burden as opposed to something done out of a genuine interest in the people. Who happen to live in our street, she told news. Com. Just because we happen to live next door to each other doesn't actually mean we have anything in common other than a similar address. If you live in an apartment, you literally share walls with these people. Sometimes that's more than enough contact thank you very much. Neighbors can be annoying from loud music, loud arguments, loud sex, to barking dogs and overgrown trees. These people are often a source of annoyance as opposed to value adding to our lives.
we have a tendency to idealize the past. I suspect not many of us were really borrowing cups of sugar from our neighbors. How much do you dislike your neighbors? A 2016 study from Relationships Australia found not speaking to your neighbors was linked to poor physical and mental health. Relationships Australia National Executive Officer Alison Brooke said 65% rarely or only occasionally chatted to neighbours. It's major concern that so many people are not connecting with their neighbours and only 40% felt a strong sense of identity with their local community and neighbourhood, she said. She said relationships with neighbours changed communities and could make a real difference to people's well-being.